We're outside of the elevator, guys. I'm Nina, your interior designer, and today we are doing a huge reveal, a before and after for a client you're not gonna wanna miss. So this client hired me because previously they were more in an art deco home and the furniture that they had prior to this was more in keeping with that style. And then when they moved into more of a colonial home, they really needed my help. So we are going to show you this entire transformation and I wanna know what you guys actually think. So I'm gonna walk through what we decided to do with um, the help of Cheetah, the furniture brand. So thank you Cheetah for sponsoring this video. We picked some of their great pieces to anchor this room. So they were kind enough to work with us and give us the pieces that we thought would work best in this room. So we got a curved couch from them. We've got two beautiful chairs that are very generous in their um, capacity and in their size so that they look great in this house. This is a very large home. It has extremely high ceilings. It has a lot of square footage. And we're just gonna show you this room for now because we'll be working on the other rooms as well. But for now, we're gonna concentrate on this space, which is a formal space for when visitors come, not for watching television, but for gathering and having festivities. Let's look at how terrible the space was prior to our complete transformation. As you can see, the client had a very dated sofa, which was not wearing well either. The gray velvet was wearing and the proportions were completely wrong. The Art Deco club chairs were of no use either because everything just seemed to be a one-off without really coming together. There was no cohesion in this room whatsoever. The rug, the coffee table, the gold shiny accents, the sofa, the club chairs, the art, nothing came together. This is what really excites me and this is why I love transforming spaces. Now let's look at what was finally created. So nothing would work well in a home without the ruggable rug. That's right, this is my collaboration with Ruggable and you guys have seen this before. And of course I insisted that the client get this Ruggable and of course she loves this design. So this is the Loire rug, which is my favorite in the larger size. Now we've put down a nine by 12. And as you guys know, I love this rug so much and I use it in not only my home, but in client projects because it's so versatile. They do have two hairy dogs, cute ones, and we do not want to feel stifled in this home. The client is very relaxed, very easy, even though she's an attorney and she just wants to have her family in this room and not care whether things get dirty or not. And so that's why the ruggable rug is perfect for this room. The client wants to be in a space where they feel comfortable and have their pets with them, have their children with them. And so the space needed to not only look comfortable, but it needed to be stain resistant, hence the ruggable and all the other items we're gonna talk about. This beautiful sofa is by Cheetah. And what I love about it is that it's got this very great performance fabric and the texture is great and the shape is wonderful. This fits, I believe, in almost 99% of homes because as you guys know, this is a um, Kagan inspired sofa. You've seen a lot of these on the market and the reason they do well and the reason they sell well is because they look great and they are in the right proportion and scale. Even though this house is large, this sofa, which is probably a three to four seater does really well with mid-century pieces. So I like the fact that Cheetah took into account scale and size. You guys know that's a big pet peeve of mine. By the way, if you guys are interested in a consultation, whether it is regarding design, life choices, uh, interior design help of any kind, you can easily book me through the Zoom link that is in the description section. What I love most about these chairs is the fact that they are generous in their size and they do have a performance fabric. Now, I never mix my fabrics. You can have the same color fabric, but you don't wanna have the same texture. So the, the sofa is a boucle and this is more of a velvet, but again, these are performance fabrics, which is really great. So we don't have to worry about spilling coffee, which I wish I could have coffee right now. The caning on the side of the chair is also a really beautiful touch because it's double caned. One side is caned, the other side's caned. So this to me works very well. And the fact that you could actually have two people like lovebirds could sit in this 
seat or a mom and daughter. So you could potentially seat a nice group of people in this room. I love the way that the rope envelops this bench and gives it the visual texture and intrigue that this room requires. And the colors really work well, not only with the floors, but with the darker mahogany. Absolutely mix your woods. The client said to me, did the bench come in the wrong color? I said, no, madam. No, 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 the bench must be in a different color. We're gonna link all these items in the description section so that you can easily have access to them, especially this beautiful bench. I really admire and love this coffee table as it is quite a visually interesting piece. As you notice, it is not a simple round table and it has these caning details which bring it a lot of texture and a lot of warmth. Additionally, it matches back to the caning of the cheetah chairs in a way that is really subtle and beautiful. Another favorite piece of mine is definitely the jack side table, which is from CB2. I find it to be proportioned very well, and I just love the rounded legs. And the fact that the jacks table is solid marble, I mean, it literally takes two people to move this table, is what makes it even better. This piece, I love photography. I love putting photography in clients' homes because it's a piece that they rarely get tired of. For whatever reason, photography tends to have more longevity for some clients because they don't tire of it. Very extravagant artwork could be tiresome over time. So if you're at a loss as to what to do, get photography. This looks beautiful. This is by Artsake and it looks great in this space. Opposite the room, we've got the entrance to the home and the entrance of the home is very wide wide and long. And hence, what we needed to do is pick a long piece. Previously, the client had a piece she brought over from a different um, home, which I mentioned, and it was too tall and too narrow. So this is an important point I wanted to make. If you have a long entrance, long entrance means you have to have a long entrance table. Otherwise, your space is going to look dwarfed and it's not going to look good. So we picked this beautiful long table, long credenza, I should say. And remember, everything will be linked in the description section so that you, can, you guys can see what I have chosen. And then we popped in two mid-century lamps, which I love because I love mixing my styles. Remember when we mix styles, we wanna bring in two opposite periods. So mid-century with, actually this is also mid-century I should say, but this is a new piece, etc. The client was in a giant hurry as most clients are. So we needed to get decorative pieces right away and that's why I love Amazon. Honestly, you guys, all of these pieces are from Amazon and they look amazing, they look great. Real marble, we're talking heavy, beautiful pieces, which of course took me hours to locate on Amazon. It's not like you can find these easily, but I have gone through the exercise for you so you can just purchase put in your cart and style your own home. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of The Red Elevator. I wanna know if you thought this transformation was empowering, transformative. What do you guys think? What did you enjoy the most? A special thank you to Cheetah for sponsoring this video. And I can't wait to see you guys again next week on The Red Elevator.